and welcome to this quick tutorial on the channel of Virtual Lufthansa. Today we're gonna make a tutorial on how to install New Sky, how to register and how to start your first flight. We are also gonna explain what benefits it brings to you as a pilot. First you go to the website newsky.app slash home. Then you're clicking on download app. So now here in the app, we're going to register. We're going to make a pilot name, a home airport, like Frankfurt, then your email and your two passwords you want to have. After you have registered in the app, you need to confirm your email. So a confirmation email is sent to the email you have um, inserted. You need to press confirm email address here. It's going to automatically open the link and it says email confirmed. Then you can instantly uh, switch back to the app. Back in the app, you can now press on login. Here you insert your confirmed email and your password that you selected. Now you're logged into your account. So. The first thing you want to do is search for airline. You can join any, but certain airlines like ours have a rating that you need to have to join. If I press on join here, it says minimum requirements failed. The minimum, minimum requirements are 8.50 or higher. So, you probably ask yourself, how do I get my rating? That's a good question. You need to increase your rating by flying for New Sky Academy. You're in New Sky Academy by default, and here you can now book your flight, your first flight, to get your rating. Now you can open up your flight simulator. If it's opened, you should see connected to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, 2024 or explain 11 or 12. Then you can press on book flight on the home menu here. You can select four categories, the free flight, so you can select anywhere, any departure airport, any arrival airport. Free flight cargo, same thing just with only cargo, so no people. Then scheduled. Schedules uh, are selected by the airline and you can select them. For example, this thing. It's one schedule and the New Sky Academy doesn't have that, have that, that much um, schedules. So you just can leave it out for now. So you can go on free flight packs, New Sky Academy. You always have to select your airline here. And then you type in a random number, doesn't really matter. Your departure, for example, EDDEF to Low Salzburg Airport. Select the airports and select the aircraft. For example, the Phoenix Air A420 would be Fanny Airbus A420. You select that, and now it's very important. This thing is very important the departure time. The departure time is in UTC. You always see UTC time zone up here, so Zulu time, and this is your local time. For me, uh, the Zulu time is one hour before my time zone, so it's always one hour before that. You, depending on how, how long you need on ground for ground handling and other things, you can give yourself time here. And it's important to depart in a 15 minute range from that departure time. So if I select 1230, it's allowed to depart until 1245 or 1215. If you depart um, later, you get a minus in your rating. Then you can book flight. Now you have booked your flight. You see your data here, and now if you see that little checkboard, you can press on it. 
this will generate um, a simple brief plan for your flight with those details like the flight number, a PAX, cargo, ZFV, etc. Now it says OFP fetched. That means your new sky plan was made successfully. Now spawned into Microsoft Flight Simulator, you should see a little new sky logo here. Or if you open the new sky launcher, you should see connected to Microsoft Flight Simulator. <coughs> you can click ready to fly and now you're in your aircraft. And as you already see here, if I open this and tap to import from Simbrief, we have our flight plan here. New Sky 4657. You see? This is because we generated our OFP and we can directly import it into the airplane. And same with MCDU. If I now push back and start my engines, put the beacon lights on. You can start your flight. Boarding here. You can then click here, start flight. And this will start reporting your flight immediately. Yes, start flight. Now it will read your aircraft. It's good, radios and stuff. So the most import important things are the QNH, it gives a lot of min minus if it's wrong. Um, the center line deviation on takeoff and landing and the lights. These are probably the three biggest failure parts and I will now show you sample ratings um, of how these um, ratings could look like. If you have you completed your flight, close it after your engines are shut and your beacon lights are off. There should also be a little pop-up window saying close flight. If you closed it you will get a rating. You see it here. Here it will say the report, so what we did good and what we eventually did bad. So this is going to show the details and the balance. So the revenue we made. So And we're going to see also the expenses and what costed how much. We're going to see the rats and if we zoom in here can even see the landing report here. Engines changed, engines changed. But there can also be bad ratings. I'm going to my profile. You can also see, for example, here. I got 0 0.72 minus in my rating because I did an off center line landing. This can happen. Not bad, but it gives you minus in your rating. You can also have, for example, flight departed 6 minutes, minutes too early, gives you minus money and minus rating. That's not good too. And there can be a lot of wrong things. Long landing, whatsoever. There are a lot of things possible. Now, if you have got your average rating or your first rating, you can try to join the airline. Click join. And here it says minimum requirements failed. If your flight was too bad, you're not allowed to join some airlines. If your flight was good, like a 10 rating, you're able to join pretty much every airline. And if your rating is 10, you can join and it says minimum requirements accepted. So you made it and then you're in the airline. And then you can make the same steps we discussed earlier with the book flight. And here you can then schedule free flights just for a different airline. So in conclu conclusion, the benefits of New Sky are significant. You can track your flights and you can search schedules up. You can pick from schedules. You don't have to pick your routes yourself. And it is allows your virtual airline to track your flights and um, give you ranks based on your flight hours. 
we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the first steps of New Sky. If you want to see a part 2 or a specific parts to specific features, just write your suggestions in the comment section. We are very happy to read them. If you want to join our Discord server, I am happy to put the link in the description for you. Thank you.